You've got mail. Yes. Open this box so hard. Well, good morning, guys. How you guys doing today? My name is Tyler. This is Everyday EDC. Today we have an unboxing for you. An unboxing of whatever is in this guy. So without further ado, my unboxing knife for the day is the CRKT Huron. This is my knife for the 30-day sub $50 challenge. We're almost done. Thankfully, because at first it was fun, and then it just becomes like, like it almost ruins your love for knives, because it's like, and we'll talk about this, I think I'm planning something with the guys that I asked to do it, it like makes you realize that once you become a knife guy, it's not a singular knife, and that's been so far, I think, uh, a consensus with a couple of us, it's it's not a singular knife that makes you happy. It's the ability to choose what knife you want during the day that actually makes us happy. So it's kind of uh, uh, interesting. I made a joke, uh, and I called it knife polygamy, right? Well, that's pretty much what it actually is. It's, <laughs> it's, I don't think it's any singular knife. I could have been carrying my hinder the whole damn time, and it wouldn't have mattered. All right, so obviously he's got a couple things in this box. This doesn't feel like, like the knife. This feels like the taco, so that's cool. Thank you. This was obtained in, like, a purchase slash trade. I kind of, I think I added a hundred bucks or something to this trade. I don't remember specifically. No, I don't remember. I don't remember what I traded for this. So this <laughs> kind of looks like a... Uh, hand sanitizer, but I don't think it is. This is Berg Blades hand sanitizer. It is hand sanitizer. Okay. All right. Cool. That's, that's cool. All right. We're cool with that. And now we have this, which I would assume is the knife. And if it's not, that's going to be depressing and a really lame video because this is the last thing to open up. Really good packaging, dude. Really cool box, by the way. Um, I've had a Bird Blades before. I had the Bird Blades Iron Wolf that I traded regretfully now. That's one of those that I should have kept, and it was one of the original ones, too. Definitely should have kept it. Uh, very well designed, well constructed. It was just massive, and I knew I would never carry it. The Iron Wolf is so cool. It's just freaking huge. All right, so here is the card. There's the name, there's the material, and there's the signature of the designer, Matt, but I don't remember his last name. He's the one that actually handmade the other one that I had. Oh, this is a cool size. Oh, man. Okay, so right out of the gate, the funniest part about all of this is that this looks just like the Iron Wolf in its design. Oops, sorry. In its design. Like, it's got the carbon fiber going on up, then the bolster, and then the bolster lock. Like, it looks a lot like the Iron Wolf, from what I remember. So this backspace right here, titanium, no fitment issues, perfectly centered. Same pocket clip, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was bigger on the Iron Wolf, though. Uh, no detent lash, perfectly locked up. Ooh, I'm excited. The opening hole is perfectly accessible. Uh, and, and ironically, it's really accessible with a thumb, too. Like, for example, this is my CRKT Huron. Now, I'm not kind of, com you know, comparing the two, although the size kind of warrants it. But this opening hole is kind of difficult to access with your thumb. It's just not the, not the best. This one's large enough that you could totally access it with your thumb. But the reverse flick is satisfying, too. And look at that little blade. Oh, that is cool. This is just like a chunky, it's not really a worn clip, it's more of a sheep's foot with the way that that 
belly kind of goes on there. If the belly wasn't there, it would be a worn cliff, right? That's basically where this is at. Action-wise, pretty damn good. This is a, one of those solid, tanky little beasts. That's why I fell in love with, like, the Wee Knives Thug. It's just solid and tanky. I'm assuming this is made by Wii, but I don't know. Um, I know the, the Iron Wolf series was made by Wii. I don't know about the Iron Pup. I don't know if that was Riat or Wii. For some reason, I think it's Riat, but I, I don't know why you would switch back and forth. Unless you're doing what EMP Designs does and does like a tryout for each run. But this is nice. Ergonomically, it's a, it's a comfortable three-finger grip, and then your pinky kind of falls on that swell down there. It feels pretty decent, but, you know, ergonomics come with use, not just feeling them in your hand. Really cool on the inside of that backspacer. You guys can't see it. Let me get a flashlight for it. On the inside of that backspacer, right there. Oh, oh, just focused in and then it lost focus. That was so cool. It looked awesome. There you go. With the light, that looks cool as shit. Yeah, that's nice. I love the bolster lock. It's something about a bolster lock because it has to be thinner underneath the rest of the frame it's a lighter lock face so it just it's one of those that make it ridiculously satisfying to actually flip <sighs> now here's an interesting choice uh they didn't choose to put a finger choil in there they did pretty well with the plunge grind and the sharpening choil that's there not really sharp yeah i guess it's a sharpening choil they did pretty well with it you could choke up to here not the most comfortable off the gate, but down here feels fine, and you feel like you got a lot of grip. If I were to grip it like this, I feel like I could drive through some material. It's just not going to be the most comfortable, but you have this. This is kind of one of those knives that, you know, it's small, but it reminds me functionally of the usage of my Launch 10, where it's probably going to do 90% of what I need it to do very, very well. Now, the reason that I got this, it was kind of ironic. I was talking to a couple of my buddies, Sammy and Ryan, and we were talking about the Thick Boy coming in. Well, they mentioned the Burke Blades Slim, and then I made a trade with a guy who was like, yo, do you want a Slim? I mean, I don't, and so we ended up making another trade, and it was just weird the way it all worked out, so that, that was cool. Is that a carbon fiber pivot collar? Look at that. That's a carbon fiber pivot collar, I think. That's badass. Never seen a carbon fiber pivot collar before. So the action on it's really nice. You can hear it. It's like not even broken yet. I I'm I'm I know he said he used it, but like you could tell just based on the sound because of the DLC coating that you have on here. You can hear it when you do this. Which means this thing is going to break in and just be freaking fall shut. I love this knife. And it's kind of ironic that this is the size of knife that I'm really... Uh, I'm really attracted to lately. Uh, part of the reason why I picked the Huron... Let's see here. Picked the Huron for the 50-day challenge. Or, oh, God, no. No, not a 50-day challenge. A sub-50, 30-day challenge was the size. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense for most of my daily use. Now, some people may need a larger knife for their daily use. For me, I don't really need a super large knife. Uh, I prefer one, right? You guys know. Uh, let's see. This guy. I prefer this guy. Uh, you know, but I don't really need that large of a blade because I'm not making a ton of long extended cuts. So, and you're kind of seeing my, <laughs> a lot of my collection shifting towards this style of blade too, so. But man, this thing is cool. woo -wee! All right. Let's get you guys a cut test on this little son of a bitch, you know what I mean? Here's the paper that it came with, see if it'll... Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, when you have jacked up paper, you get jacked up results. It's super smooth. Oh, gosh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So I may lay back that edge eventually, but yeah, if this is the factory edge, which I'm, it kind of looks like it. Let's see here. Ooh. Head in my box. Got my head in the box. So yeah, it kind of looks like the factory edge. It is wicked sharp. So well done on that. 
I think this knife is freaking cool. Wow, is that thing cool? <laughs> Let's see here. The carbon fiber, it's kind of like that smooth carbon fiber, but it feels, there's a difference between the smooth, cheap carbon fiber and just like a good feeling smooth carbon fiber, and this feels good. There's a little thing there, I'm not sure if that's a mark or like something I can clean off, but this is in fantastic shape. The fit and finish looks really good. That's, there's a little gap there, but I mean, it's carbon fiber. It's not the easiest to work with. You get voids, tiny little void in the carbon fiber. There. So that's not really a quality issue. It's just like the carbon fiber issue. Oh, man. Not even a carbon fiber issue. Just nature or the carbon fiber, right? I could see this being a chosen daily carry. It's relatively slim, although it's not the slimmest. Let's see. I think I got my tools out here. I'm going to guess that it's at least half of an inch thick at least yep 0.512 here let's see it's blinking because the battery's dying still 0.512 so this is it's not like uh even my hinderer xm18 skinny what is that coming in at that's going to come in at like four six yep 460 thousandths so the xm18 skinny is going to be skinnier than the berg blade slim um, now if you were to take out like your bug out or the Spyderco cue ball, which I don't know if I released the unboxing of this yet, but I did modify it and it's a really shitty modify. <laughs> I didn't have the right tools, but I hated the access to this ball. I hate, I hate the ball, like make it a cage, but this is a, other than that, this thing is awesome. Not about the cue ball though. Uh, yeah. So this is the Berg blade slim. Holy smokes, am I excited about this guy. This guy's freaking cool. 20 CV or M390? M390. Um, it's kind of weird. I, I don't have a preference, but I feel better about M390 than I do 20 CV. And I think it's because I'm starting to see 20 CV on everything and not M390. So I'm like, I kind of miss it. So it's nice that it has that just for my own stupid feelings in my brain. This thing is, do I have a piece of wood? I do have a piece of wood. We got a woody. Let's try a little bit of hard use for this. So even with that three finger grip, it feels good. Now let's choke up. Gotta be careful. I felt that point really poke in there. So hard use, pushing on that. Um, the ergonomics I talked about where you kind of choke up to this point feel fine because all the pressure is going into the spine as you're pushing, it's pushing out. And so you don't feel pressure right there. You just have control. Uh, that's really nice. I freaking really like this thing. Oh God, that thing is awesome. All right, that is all I got for you guys today. This probably won't release today. It definitely won't release today. I'm taking a break for the rest of the week. Just put out a short. Uh, yesterday I did have a car accident. No, everybody is fine. We're just a little sore today. Uh, we'll be taking some muscle relaxers and kind of uh, relaxing. But, um, yeah, long story short, no matter how good of a driver you think you are, you cannot protect yourself against crazy old Asian ladies. Uh, no racist comment in intended, stereotype fully intended. Uh, old and com combined with Asian left me in a situation where I thought she was slowing down, but she decided to just tap the brakes and turn directly into my driver's side door. Uh, she was doing about 20, I was doing about 40, so it was enough to jostle you pretty good. Got slapped in the face with some uh, si what, airbags. Yeah, slapped in the face with some airbags, which people talk about the sting. My head was like pins and needles for like an hour. I'm like, what the f... And then I realized the airbags hit you in the side of the head. Uh, so my avalanche is no more, and that's a sad day. I put out a short on that. But everybody's safe. Everybody's fine. She has insurance, so that's good, even though she didn't file a claim. So my insurance guy filed a claim for her. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's just a quick update. This will probably be releasing sometime next week. So this is the Berg Blade Slim. Oh, I didn't check this. No back and forth, no up and down, like super locked up. This knife is... Oh man, I can I can tell you guys just from feeling this that 
I'm really going to enjoy carrying this to the point where it's probably going to make it into the box. I got that feeling on it already. Like, it just feels like one that I want to use, and it's gorgeous in my eyes. I think it's just a fantastic looking knife. Oh, man, the Berg Blade Slim. Very, very cool. You will be seeing the Berg Blade Slim compared with the EMP Designs EDC. EMP EDC Designs Thick Boy. I got that. I'm so stoked to get that into him. That's so exciting. But uh, I, I kind of only pulled the trigger on this because I was excited about the Thick Boy and wanted to get something to compare it to. But now that I got this in hand, I love EMP Designs, man. But my goodness, is this awesome. That is all I got for you guys today. Let's show you guys the box again because the box is actually really, really nice. Here's the box. It's just a real thin, it's just different. And then you kind of open it, and here's the presentation. It came with this card, some cool little stickers that I'll probably put on my stuff, and then the box. So, you know, nothing too special, but I mean, it's it's actually, in my opinion, a really good, uh, good looking situation there. I don't know, I gotta look this up, because I'm not seeing Wii Knife anywhere on here. This is like all Bird Blade stuff with his hand signature on it. So I don't know. I gotta, I gotta look this up. If this is made by him, that's even more exciting. Anyways, the Berg Blade Slim, guys. Oh man, is this knife cool. So practical and just badass looking and convenient, but it gives you that solidity in hand. Ah. Oh, this is cool. All right, guys. My name is Tyler. This is Everyday EDC. You guys stay sharp, stay safe, and have a great freaking rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Get a new knife.